Welcome to SSP Parts. We're going to be working on a 2005 Acura MDX and we're going to show you how you do the front disc brakes, how to remove the calipers, put new pads, and put new rotors on the front. This is a 19 inch socket. Most lug nuts are 19. 19 millimeters, not inches, 19 millimeters. All right. Make sure when you're working on it, you, un you unlock the steering wheel so that you can turn the steering. Okay. We're going to be taking the whole bracket, the caliper, everything off, and we're going to hang it over here so that it doesn't put no pressure on the holes while I'm changing the rotor. And then I'll put it back on when I put the pads on. So it's the 19 that takes off the back. These 19s right here, is what holds the caliper on. Pull the caliper off. Hang it over to one side. Now we get the rotor off. Sometimes these rotors come right off, sometimes they don't. We'll set screws. These were loose. Sometimes they're rusted in there. That's it for the rotor. This rotor's not in real bad shape, but it, she wants to put new rotors on it just in case they're warped. So we're replacing the rotor. The new rotor's already turned. They're ready to go on. Line up the screw holes. And replace the screws. You don't have to be very tight. That's it. That's all there is. Now the pads. What I'm going to do. Pop the pads out. But what I'm going to do, it's easier to put the, put the caliper back on and then take the caliper off the bracket and then put the pads in. So I'm going to replace the caliper. As you can see here, in the caliper. Tighten these back up. That's it. Now we're going to remove the caliper from the bracket to put the pads on. If you're not going to replace the rotors, a lot of people if the rotors are in good shape, they don't replace them. All you got to do is just take the, cal the caliper off the bracket. You don't got to remove the whole thing. But we're going to remove. Let's see here.
you can remove just the bottom bolt usually the bottom nut bolt here in the caliper and raise the caliper up like a hood and then you can slide your pads in there and then slide this back you got to depress the pistons back because these pads are new the other ones are worn down so you got to have a pair of channel locks or a vise and you squeeze the, caliper, the pistons back they got to be all the way back in If you don't get these back in, you ain't going to get the pads on. It won't work. So you just squeeze them. Do one at a time. Slowly. Slowly do it. Because you'll pop the other one out. You don't want to do that. So it goes a little slow. And when you squeeze these, a lot of times the other one will try to come out on you. It will. But you go real slow when you squeeze it in. And then you go back and squeeze this one. If you go too fast, it'll pop the other one out. You can just be going back and forth, wasting your time. So you want to squeeze real slow each one. Make sure they're all the way recessed, flat. That's important. Now you can slide the pads in. Pads only go in one way. You see how it's concave that way? Like that, it goes in like that. Slide them in. That's it, and slide in like that. Turn your rotor, make sure everything's good. Make sure these are, these are freed up, they can't be in a bind. They gotta be free. And then this here goes right back down. And then this here has a sliding piston, sliding pins. These pins right here, they slide back and forth. So you wanna make sure that's not hanging up. If those are hanging up, you gotta pull them out and you gotta grease them. Uh, here's what they look like. You got to make sure these pins are not hanging up. Because if they are, then your brakes are going to hang up and you're going to burn the brakes back out. And they're going to run hot. So you slide it over, center it, and it goes back down. And then you put your bolt back in. Like I said, now if you're not replacing the rotors, you can just take this bottom bolt out. Flip this up, pull your pads out, put the other one in, which takes no time at all. But we took the whole bracket off because you've got to take this bracket off that holds the caliper to get the rotor off. And then we just tighten it up. It's a 14. Tighten it back up. You have to be very tight. You don't tighten it very tight because they will twist off very easily. These are not heavy duty bolts. You just want to put a little bit of pressure. Just a little bit. I like that. That's good. Turn back around. Always spin it to make sure that there's no metal. These metal uh, brackets here, sometimes when you take these out, they're bent and they'll rub on your rotor. Make sure there's nothing rubbing. That's it. That's all it's doing the, the front disc brakes. The other side, you just repeat the same thing. If you're going to take the rotor off, take the two 19s, take the whole bracket off. If you're just going to replace the pads and leave the rotor, then you just take the bottom 14 out here, flip it up, pull the pads out, put the new ones in, put it back down, and that's all there is to just replacing the pads. So that's a complete brake job on the front. Uh, if your pistons are hung up, when you go to push them back, if they're hung up, then you need to get another caliper. It's cheaper to get another caliper than it is to rebuild it. They're not that expensive. Um, you don't really need to bleed it. You can put a new fluid in it, but you don't need to bleed it because you didn't break no lines loose. If you take any line loose, then you got problems and you got to bleed it. 
but there's no bleeding on it. They're self-adjusting, there's no adjustment at all. They adjust their self. And that's all there is. It's, like I said, it's a 2005 Acura MDX, and that's how you replace the front pads on it.